Welcome back. Dex and Shannon, we're talking Better Call Saul. We're uh, joined by our friend Patrick Jones. Hey. And this is it. This is this it. This is it for us. <laughs> He's got a uh, blog called Better Blog Saul, which is amazing. Thank you. That's a great little blog where if you want to find any location in Better Call Saul, you can find it. So. Yeah, um, all of the places from last night are up there. We got those pretty quickly. There's only a couple new locations. One of those, uh, the Bingo Hall was a Shriner place over by the airport. So mm -hmm. if you uh, like Better Call Saul and you like playing bingo, uh, you like playing bingo, you can, you can tell I me. Love I love bingo. Bingo yeah. love is bingo. seriously the funnest. Oh, I love it. Old people in bingo. All right, let's times. just side note. We get it. We're going to find Patrick. We're going to check out his blog. But I want to put you on the spot for a minute. And I'm on his side, too, on this. How do you know? You didn't even hear what I said. I can read your mind. Oh, gosh. Why did you not like this episode? It was really boring. Why, though? It, it just, just didn't... I don't know. I, I feel like this is an episode that should have been, uh, I don't know, third, fourth, fifth mm -hmm. episode. For a season finale, I expect... A good cliffhanger. See, I expect I a little bit of action. It was. Come on. Going back That's not a cliffhanger. Saw, yes, he said, I'm not going to be I good was, I wasn't life. sitting there wanting more like, no! That wasn't me. I well, wasn't. you don't need to want more. Yes, Except that's a cliffhanger. Good moderation. <laughs> that's exactly what a cliffhanger is. No, though. you don't know, Patrick. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I think, and, and we talked about this earlier, but um, I think we're, we're conditioned to need a cliffhanger yeah. that just because I know whether it's 10 episode seasons or 24 like we had in the past. You want to like that, that, idolize that last the show. One, I want something extra and I want to be yeah. leaving with something and and we weren't. Now, yes, you were. No, oh, we were. But it oh wasn't like gosh. it wasn't like he shot somebody. I'm going to have a tantrum. Think somebody's going to die. Yeah. But there there wasn't as much as maybe other shows. Is that wrong? Is that right? But we, it was we just go right. into it desiring that yeah. and it didn't have it was whatever funny that is. it brought the funny the dark humor back i mean marco's dead <laughs> well, chuck's a jerk he died while you know he this, smiling this is showing that the human can only take so much i don't know what that snap. means i don't know what that yeah, means you never snap uh let's talk uh let's let's get into our extra clip we put together a little montage of all of the all of the extras oh, that worked so hard uh, during this season of Better Call Saul. So let's uh, see last night's and then we'll see some of the other great extras. This is just great showing extras. that every single person needs a montage. <laughs> yes. There, this one was so good, the yeah. big dude. That, that's, uh, look at that, that. he should have got paid well for that one. This is the UNM representing Albuquerque. People now, of Albuquerque were A lot of people don't this. know this, but coming up here right about <gasps> oh, now no. is me. Oh. This is me walking. Oh. You'll see me walk. There I am. I'm walking. That's me. I'm <laughs> gonna walk right by. This. this next one coming up. Yeah, this next one is gonna be Shannon in the pool. Mom. It'll be Shannon in the pool. There's Dex's There's mom Shannon. <laughs> There's Shannon right there. Can't see her face, but that's her. I'm just really there happy. I'm really excited. And then there's everybody. Yep. That's, there's just, that's, that's half that's of Albuquerque so right there. And they there we were go. super excited that they got to walk, work, work on this show. I'm sure. Uh, way to go, extras. Thank you, extras. That was awesome. That was very cool. All right, so we got to get into our factor BS. Okay, okay, which I am literally, don't ruin this. I'm not going to ruin I'm anything. I'm like seven for zero. You're four for seven. No. You got it last week. I didn't. I know. I got it. You're See four ya. for seven. Well, well done. And for all the new people that are watching, uh, Shannon's never seen Breaking Bad. So There's that bus. That's why we're doing factor BS Breaking Bad style. All right. Here we go. Here's your question. Okay. Factor BS, Robert Forrester, the actor who portrayed the extractor who whisked Saul to safety in Omaha out of his vacuum cleaner shop, actually sold vacuum cleaners door to door before becoming an actor. Okay, I kind of want to say false, but I'm going to say true because people really do sell vacuums door to door and maybe that's how he got the job because he sold a Kirby to the director and the director really liked him. I'm going to say true. You're going to say true? True. Really? Good job. Thank you Good very job. much. I used to sell vacuum cleaners. Really? No. Oh, copy machines. Machines. I just sell copy, copy machines. machines. Hey, machines. Yes. that's a good job. Anyway. <laughs> oh, man, this is it. I can't believe it's over already. This is it. This was a great time. We, we have to wait a year, but uh, yeah. we'll it's hopefully be, be back. Year. And uh, of course, your your blog, Better Blog Saw. Yeah, I'm going to keep things going throughout the summer. Um, what I'm working on now is a do-it-yourself tour. So um, if you're coming through town or if you live here and you want to go see some of the best spots, it'll be something that you can just do in an afternoon. That's going to be up on the blog this week. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Patrick. Yeah, thanks Jones. for having me, guys. Yeah, it's been course. fun. And uh, thank you for tuning in, watching us. And uh, hopefully see we'll see you next year. We'll see you.